still. So I'm going to hand over to Jonathan for the uh, floor plan exercise. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a, this is a classic three bed semi. Uh, I think this particular house is in Woking. Uh, and this is what it started like as before it was converted into an HMO. OK, so very uh, typical three bed semi. You've got the, the upstairs on the right hand side of the picture here uh, and the downstairs in the middle. Uh, and that long uh, black line um, is the party wall. And there's a mirror image of this property on the other side. OK, so. Um, started life as a three bed, one bath with a downstairs uh, WC. Uh, and the challenge that we uh, ask people is um, what well, actually would you convert this into? OK, so um, if you've got three bedrooms upstairs, um, OK, that's fine. Uh, the usual uh, observations that we receive are the garage is a, is a natural looking uh, place to convert. So if you turn that into a bedroom, that would increase it to four bedrooms. And then that kitchen living area there's probably some reconfiguration or moving walls around or something like that where you could um, generate another bath, uh, bedroom within there uh, and probably sprinkle in some bathrooms as well so the most frequently suggested configuration for this particular building um, would be uh, yeah a five bed maybe three bath house something like that okay so that don't get me wrong, that is an HMO if you, if you do manage to do that. Um, but what I'm going to show you now is what that property currently looks like. OK, so as I say, started life is a three bed, one bath. And this is what it is today. Seven bedrooms, three of which are en suite with a further two shared bathrooms and also still retaining that W2. OK, so the, the garage has been converted. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a, there's a uh, bedroom that's gone in there. Uh, the erstwhile kitchen has been uh, converted as well, but there's also been a single story extension out the back. Um, that extension was done within permitted development, no planning permission was required. Uh, and actually, I think since this house was done, those rules have been relaxed further, and you can probably do a double story extension um, without planning as well. Upstairs, the large family bathroom, um, keeping the water facilities, but converting the rest of it into a bedroom splitting the, those water facilities and, and having to uh well one on suite and, and a shared bathroom as well so the point of this exercise is to demonstrate most people can kind of get to four uh, can get to five through our model we've been able to get to seven okay in woking this room probably rents out for 700 pounds a month so an extra 1400 pounds each and every calendar month you multiply that by a year you multiply that by four houses you multiply that by 10 years that you're going to own it that compounding effect will have hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of additional marginal revenue if you do this sort of stuff in the right way. We're here to help you find the needles in the haystacks of houses that this can be done for, uh, and then also to maximise the efficiencies that they run at as well. Okay, So that's just a, a great little nifty example of the sort of um, value and benefit that we can.